Imagination and dreams are the stuff of the next three poems in the selection. Romance by Walter James Turner, Through Nightmare by Robert Graves, and then Wilfred Owen's Strange Meeting. When I was but thirteen or so, I went into a golden land. Chimborazo Cotopaxi took me by the hand. My father died, my brother too, they passed like fleeting dreams. I stood where Papa Catapetal in the sunlight gleams. I dimly heard the master's voice and boys far off at play. Chimborazo Cotopaxi had stolen me away. I walked in a great golden dream to and fro from school. Shining Papa Catapetal, the dusty streets did rule. I walked home with a gold dark boy and never a word I'd say. Chimborazo Cotopaxi had taken my speech away. I gazed entranced upon his face, fairer than any flower. O oh, shining Papa Catapetal, it was thy magic hour. The houses, people, traffic seemed thin, fading dreams by day. Chimborazo Cotopaxi. They had stolen my soul away. Never be disenchanted of that place you sometimes dream yourself into, lying at large remove beyond all dream, or those you find there, though but seldom in their company seated, the untamable, the live, the gentle. Have you not known them? Whom? They carry time looped so river-wise about their house, there's no way in by history's road to name or number them. In your sleepy eyes I read the journey of which disjointedly you tell, which stirs my loving admiration that you should travel through nightmare to a lost and moated land who are timorous by nature. It seemed that out of battle I escaped, down some profound dull tunnel, long since scooped through granites which titanic wars had groined. Yet also there encumbered sleepers groaned, too fast in thought or death to be bestirred. Then, as I probed them, one sprang up and stared with piteous recognition in fixed eyes lifting distressful hands as if to bless. And by his smile, I knew that sullen hall. By his dead smile, I knew we stood in hell. With a thousand pains, that vision's face was grained. Yet no blood reached there from the upper ground, and no guns thumped or down the flues made moan. Strange friend, I said, here is no cause to mourn. None, said that other, save the undone years, the hopelessness. Whatever hope is yours was my life also. I went hunting wild after the wildest beauty in the world, which lies not calm in eyes or braided hair, but mocks the steady running of the hour, and if it grieves, grieves richly I hear. For of my glee might many men have laughed, and of my weeping something had been left which must die now. I mean the truth untold, the pity of war, the pity war distilled. Now men will go content with what we spoiled, or discontent boil bloody and be spilled. They will be swift with the swiftness of the tigress, None will break ranks, though nations trek from progress. Courage was mine, and I had mystery. Wisdom was mine, and I had mastery. To miss the march of this retreating world into vain citadels that are not walled. Then, when much blood had clogged their chariot wheels, I would go up and wash them from sweet wells, even with truths that lie too deep for taint. I would have poured my spirit without stint, but not through wounds, not on the cess of war.
Foreheads of men have bled where no wounds were. I am the enemy you killed, my friend. I knew you in this dark, for so you frowned yesterday through me as you jabbed and killed. I parried, but my hands were loath 